how to fix exclamation mark on wi-fi on android hi everyone welcome back to our channel genie guide in today's video i will simply guide you on how you can fix the exclamation mark issue on your android device so make sure to watch the video till the end so if your wi-fi is not working properly it says connected but no internet and then you most likely see the exclamation mark next to it it could be that the internet connection is slow in itself so if you have some of the android or ios devices or any type of computer generic where you can connect to wi-fi try to connect to the same network and then see if the problem persists because if the problem persists then the issue is with your router and the internet connection and not necessarily with your android phone so just try to restart your router before you do all the steps and then just try to call your wi-fi manufacturer and then see if that, that they can get the issue fixed but if not then sometimes only sometimes the issue could be with your android device phone so in that case if you have some other wi-fi try to connect to that wi-fi and then see if you still get the issue if you still get the issue then the problem is with your wi-fi chip or your wi-fi system so in order to go ahead and then fix this the very first thing we are going to do is simply open up the settings application scroll down to the very bottom and go to about phone and then go to the option called reset whichever android phone you use you have to look for the option called reset network settings this is going to reset all of the bluetooth wi-fi and mobile data connections and then just keep it to the default version as to when you first install your phone and then just tap on the reset settings button you should be able to go ahead and reset it after that it will ask you to reconnect it now last but not the least you also don't want to underestimate the power of a restart so press the power button as well as the volume down buttons depending upon the combinations to restart your android phone restart it and then see if that solves your problem if it doesn't i just recommend you to simply wipe everything from your system to open up settings go to about section go to the option called reset and then this time you're going to select factory data reset and then you lose all this data basically so tap on the reset button to reset and restart it hopefully one of these solutions may have helped solve your problem and if it did help solve the problem make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and if you have got any questions though feel free to leave them down Thank you very much for watching till the end and see you in the next video.